Hi guys, Erin here for a book related video. Today I'm going to be doing good reads, quick reads, and great reads. So I have a huge stack of books on my finished reading pile, so I wanted to make a video on a few books that were quick reads in my book. So I chose the top six that were on the list. So the first book is Six Months Later by Natalie D. Richards, which is 323 pages. And I read the book in less than a week. And my mom read the book in less than a day. And one of my aunts decided, okay, since Erin um, was raving about the book and since her mom read it too, I'm going to read the book too. So she, my aunt, when she read the book, she also figured out at the end why I was choking on tea and telling everyone about it. Um, if you read the book, spoilers ahead, so beware. If you read the book, you will find out that... Um, <laughs> I lost my train of thought there. You will find out that tea has a very important um, part in the book, and I was actually drinking tea when I was reading the book, and then when I had the epiphany of reading the book, I choked on tea. So there was that. Um, another quick read is Sucker Bet by Erin McCarthy. It's 284 pages, and the easiest way to explain the book Think Fifty Shades of Grey meets Vampires in Las Vegas, Nevada. It is not a book for kids at all, despite the pretty cover that would make you think otherwise. I mean, see? It looks like a pretty high school blonde girl just gambling, but um, it's definitely not a book for kids at all. So, um, parents, if you want to read it, make sure you're alone. Um, another book that was a quick read was Ten Things We Did and Probably Shouldn't Have by Sarah Mlynowski. This was 357 pages, and I read this book in about two weeks over summer vacation, and I put it back in my, uh, book collection in the attic, and then I was going through the attic a while back. I saw the book, and then I decided to reread it. So there was that. Um... As I reread it, it was a slower read than originally thought, but that was before, like, my love for romance novels diminished completely. Um, I still read romance novels. I mean, I'm reading the selection series right now, but, like, other books, it depends on the book or the author, but generally I don't read romance novels anymore. Um, the uh, Another book that was a quick read was Someone Like You by Sarah Dessen which is 281 pages. The book was all right overall, but I'm not much of a romance reader. And the book is about two girls, their best friends. One of them is wild, one of them is not. The wild one hooks up with her boyfriend, gets pregnant, and then the boyfriend dies in a, a car accident. He was on a motorcycle and the wild girl she keeps the baby her best friend is like really oh my gosh how can you how how did this happen and my initial reaction to the book was well your rubber broke besides um again this video is not for kids at all so anyway um the fifth book that was a quick read was will never be apart by emma Jean, and this was 279 pages um, it's a novel about twins, one of whom is a pyromaniac, and you know that phrase, wrong place, wrong time? Well, the good sister Alice is blamed for so much of what the bad sister Sally does, and they're both in love with the same boy, Jason. Sorry about that, the phone rang. Um, where was I? Um, Sally and Alice are both in love with the same boy, Jason, and Jason chooses to love Alice over Sally, and Sally is, oh, uh, spoilers, by the way, and Sally is so jealous that she winds up killing Jason, and now Alice wants to kill Sally for killing her first and only love. So that's, like, the easiest way I can explain it. So there you go. That's pretty much the summary of it, and uh, I'm leaving out, like, a lot of details, but the book is so good. I absolutely loved it. I sent the author, Emma Jean an email about it, and she was like, oh my gosh, it's so great hearing from a fan. That's so sweet. And she told me that she was writing a book on um, old Japanese myths, and so I'm like, oh wow, that's that sounds like a really cool book because I love mythology. Anyway, I'm getting off topic here. 
Uh, the sixth and final book that was an absolutely quick read for me anyway was Girl Missing by Tess Gerritsen, not to be confused with Gone Girl. Uh, this was 352 pages. It's a good mystery novel, so it was right up my alley, even though it wasn't fantasy or science fiction. But I read it in three days. My mom read it in three hours, and my aunt decided to read it too because she likes um, murder mysteries and all that sort of stuff. So I'm just like, yeah, you should totally read it. And we were talking about it for a while afterwards, and it was just such a great read. So um, about that book, I wasn't left disappointed. But anyway, those are my good reads, quick reads, and great reads. So have a great day, everyone. Like, subscribe, comment, do your thing, and have a good day.